Hello there, yes, well, yesterday was a busy news day in education, so let's dive into that. Yes, I mean, you might be thinking that yesterday's big news story was the government backtracking and squirming about not funding teachers' pay. They had originally agreed to go with the National Pay Review with whatever they decided, because that would only be fair, hoping, knowing full well that it was going to be way below inflation and so it turned out but the government has now decided that even paying teachers way below inflation for the umpteenth year in a row is just way too much after all they're all gits anyway i think is the argument anyway leaving that aside um yes yesterday's big news stories were a kind of weird maldestrum of Lies, damn lies, and the Daily Telegraph. Um, all of these stories about transgender and children identifying animals as animals in school swirling around. The justification for writing all of this stuff is based on a pyramid of absolute garbage and lies. Um, just looking at the Telegraph's education page, you can see this. It's just all about, all about children pretending to be foxes or uh, referring to the awful uh, civitas or public policy exchange, the policy exchange report into schools, which are built on absolute garbage research but it doesn't matter because after all it's vitally important and um the uh <laughs> glorious uh stations like gb news have got in on the act for example but the one i want to highlight from yesterday was uh, something that julia hartley brewer posted up on twitter and um she had a conversation with the woman from transgender exchange and uh it's another one of those things if you I'll post videos below as to why the woman from Transgender Exchange, I don't believe a word of what she's saying. Um, anyway, um, Julia, who said to her, I want the government to say categorically it's a sacking offence for a teacher to push this ideology on our children. Simple as that. Which, to a certain extent, sounds like a vaguely reasonable thing to say. Um, I'm, I'm using the word reasonable as a as a very vague notion there. But let's think through this, okay? Sacking a fence for a teacher to push this ideology on our children. Right, because you can't possibly quantify something as push, what Julia is suggesting is that any teacher that discusses this kind of issue with a child may well end up being sacked. So this is which she has obviously not thought of. And of course, a woman from Transgender Trend, and no one else is actually going to point it out to her, that means that what Julia is calling for, effectively, is that schools have no conversations about these types of issues with their pupils. If you're not a fan of trans issues, you might think, oh, well, that's fine. You can be. So where else does the child go to discuss this? It really is as blunt as that. This is why we are in this Section 28, Clause 28 moment, because this stuff is expressly designed so that in schools, trans individuals become invisible, which obviously is going to be very, very, very positive for everybody's mental health. So we will see. This stuff will burble around, but please do look at my videos below where I debunk all of this stuff. It is very, very easy to debunk. And yet, those people screaming for this stuff, like Julia, will point you to people like the woman from Transgender, Transgender Trend, who are spouting absolute rubbish. And the woman from Transgender Trend no doubt knows she's right because she can cite the Civitas report. And we know that the Civitas report is right because the woman from Transgender Trend has actual um, hands-on-the-ground experience that can back it up. All of this stuff must be true. After all, <laughs> it's not like these people have an agenda, is it? Is it? Yeah, I mean, that would be foolish, wouldn't it? Anyway, have a lovely day.